Alrighty yo, welcome back to Knox Plays X2. Um, so I was looking over the footage from last time and I realized that when I tried to show something it didn't quite come through, so I'll make sure that it's obvious for the Bloodborne reference, uh, I get a Hunter's Mark tattoo, so I'm obviously a fan of the game. 100% that shit. Mm. All the endings, all that good shit. Ah, alrighty, so let me just do a shot, and then we're gonna continue on with X2, and we'll see, I'm, I'm planning on just going through all of X2 today. Alrighty. Alrighty, ready, 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 ready. Once again, thank you, Adam. Ah. The shit's doing me some good. My blue raspberry vodka. Not a big fan of blue raspberry. Not a huge fan, but I'm a big fan of vodka. As several other people for my birthday also bought me vodka, so I am I'm swimming in that shit right now. And I don't feel too bad about spending this afternoon just getting drunk and playing this. Got some shit going on tonight, and I woke up this morning and was reasonably productive, so eh, whatever. Alright, cheers. Next, we're gonna go after... Ugh, Overdrive Ostrich, which means we're gonna have to fight Voilin. Ah. dinner time. Maybe I'll we'll just have more liquor for dinner. It's got calories, right? My body can run on that shit. It's fine. It's all cool. It's all cool. We got this. Alright, so now we're gonna fight Overdrive Ostrich. If you notice these rocks over here, you can destroy them with the gator's uh, power. Oh. Ah, alrighty. Yeah, so now we come up against our first X Hunter. Voila. I hate him. I hate him. Because he is unpredictable. He makes me angry for the same reason that Hearthstone makes me really angry. Because a lot of the time I feel like I died because I just got unlucky. Sometimes his tail just bounces around you, and other times it just seeks you out. I really wish I did not have to fight him here. I'm not actually a beat by him. Oh, there we go. This is one of the problems too when you're at low level when you try fighting him, like, I don't have any heart tanks, or I have one. He kills me in like three hits with the fucking tail. It's incredibly difficult to dodge because I don't know, I can't figure out the physics behind it. And I know a lot about physics. I, I, I do understand things like basic geometry, mathematical relationships. You know, by any right, I should probably have a reasonable chance of predicting it, but I just don't. I just don't. I just get wrecked, and I do declare. He fucks me up bad. Holy shit! So I'm gonna I'm I'm mostly doing these videos really with that head. I'm not trying to make myself look good or anything. If I if I fuck up, I'd rather have that be out there. I'd rather have you guys know that. I'm on a sheet. So if he ends up killing me and I lose all my lives, the good news is he'll go to a different stage and I can just fucking fight Overdrive Ostrich, maybe get a heart or two, and then maybe have a remote chance of being able to defeat him. Because this is... 
I fucking hate him. I'm trying to think of other fights that remind me of this one. Aside from Hearthstone, I can't really come to mind. Um, what are games? I'm trying to think of like a Dark Souls boss that feels like that, but most of the most of the Dark Souls bosses feel <coughs> they feel like when I lose, it's because I fucked up. Um. I don't know, maybe Bloodstarved Beast from Bloodborne, but I'm not sure. Because at least even with him, like, I kind of know what I'm doing. Versus the, oh my god, look at that! Two hits! Two hits, and I have one health left! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck whoever made you! Fuck your mother! Fuck you, Voilin! Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god. Like, Surges, Agile, I can beat them because you can lock them into a pattern. Who the fuck made him? Why did you make him so cruel? Okay, so now we can go through the level without Wellen's interference. We can fight Overdrive Ostrich, hopefully I can make a leg upgrade. Um, it'd be nice if I could fight Wellen while I have the armor upgrade because that reduces the amount of damage that we take. But we'll see. Even if I could just get some, you know, some more health, a few more sub tanks, a few more arcs, anything along those lines, that, that, that'll probably enable me to win, but oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, that tail. That tail. And now we got little piggy robots. Which are actually um, bionic versions of Miss Piggy from the Muppets. Incidentally, uh, I had a dog named Sophie. She was a French bulldog, and uh, we used to call her Miss Piggy. So I, I secretly hope that one day she will be resurrected in the form of a pig robot. True facts. So there's a fun trick you can do here, uh, in order to... Wow. This level's giving me the middle finger ten different kinds of ways. There's a there's a fun trick you can do, where there's a heart you can get a little bit later, and there's two ways of doing it. One is to do something which is just fucking annoying as shit, fucking horrifically irritating, which involves using the speeder bike. Or... What you can do is, you can just wait till you have Flame Stag's weapon and the weapon upgrade, the, the arm upgrade. And then you can just get it that way, so fuck it, that's how I get it. Just fuck, man. Look, I get it, you know, if you're, if you're really into like that hardcore game and shit, like, hey man, more power to you. It's not my deal, yo, I'm, a, I'm an artist. And as much as I do love these things, and I do like challenging myself, that is now worth the irritation. I'm gonna just wait till I get that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take the road of the path of least resistance when it comes to this stuff. And yeah, you can see the hard sword over there. So what you can do is, if you can, if you can destroy that ramp, um, the one right before the jump, you can jump up with the speeder if you boost it just right, get up, and then you can grab the heart. I just wait until I have the speed burner, because that gives you an extra dash. Because you know what? Fuck it! I don't want to deal with that shit! Alrighty, and here we have the first upgrade. We get the leg upgrade. Which gives us an air dash! Uh, in the first game, you get a... Um, you get the, the leg upgrade that lets you dash, which is strange because it's apparently the only one that he keeps from X1 to X2, and then in X2 it gives you a mid-air dash, and then in X3 it gives you a mid-air dash, and it also lets you jump vertically, so... hot damn. I mean, I guess if I was going to keep any one of the upgrades, I'd probably want the mobility one, 
but I don't understand why X can't just hold on to his armor. I don't know, is he, is he losing it? Is he, like, gambling? Does, does X have a gambling problem? Is he gambling this shit? Is he, is he losing some fucking, some robot strip poker to zero? I mean, I'm gonna admit, that's kinda hot, but it's not really... You know, if I needed that shit to save people's lives to avert, you know, robot apocalypses and whatnot, I'd probably avoid betting it. But that's just me. That's just who I am. That's just me. Okay, so now we have Overdrive Ostrich. This is a pretty cool boss. And his arena is interesting because it actually has things like slopes, which you want to use, which you want to like take advantage of in order to avoid his attacks. Not that I did a great job of it there. But for example, if he's just straight up charging at you, you want to wait until you're on like a you know elevation where you're above him, because then you'll be able to jump over him. He's also kind of ridiculous. I find him pretty fun. And there we go. So he's not exactly a super difficult boss. Uh, some of the bosses in this game I have pretty good muscle memory for, like, their, their pattern's pretty easy, and I'm not gonna really chalk it up too much of my own skill. He's a pretty easy boss. Uh, I would probably actually advise him in terms of the first one you're gonna fight if you're gonna use the boss weapons. The way that I'm playing this one through, though, much like X1, is that I'm not really using the boss weaknesses. I'm just kind of playing through and trying to use the X-Buster to fight them. I'm mostly using, you know, going through based on armor selection and, like, uh, upgrades and such. So, alrighty, so we beat him. Um, and for him we get a weapon called Sonic Slicer, which shoots these... Not boomerang-like, but they shoot these, uh, these little projectiles that bounce off walls and stuff. So, they're actually very useful for getting through. Flames to excellent. And as for how, we shall see, we, that, we will see shortly. There we go. Oh man, all that vodka is getting to me. That's okay. My drunk play will hopefully make for good entertainment. I'm not an amazing gamer. I'm a pretty damn good rapper. I'm not an amazing gamer. Oh shit, that's not what I meant to do. Come back, Robot Stag Beetle, I need you. Damn it! Oh, is he back? No, he's not. Shit. Well, I fucked up a little bit. See, that's kind of what you're supposed to try going for. But, you know, I can, I can fix this. Because you actually need that guy to get to a sub tank. So, I'll grab this heart, and then I'll allow this lava to just like Pompeii. Ah. And then back to the beginning. Okay. So, the little robot stag beetle, what he does is he'll get down to roughly where you are and then he'll dive ahead. And if you hit some of the weak balls, he blows himself up and he breaks the wall for you. But, if he just goes forward and he hits a regular wall or something, then he doesn't die. And what you want to do is you want to get on top of him. Yeah, mount that, mount that beetle. Some fucking beetle sex going on here. Uh, you go up over here, and then we have the second sub. -level. I'm gonna just ride on top of you, bro. Fucking ride that beetle. Riding the beetle sounds like it could be a sexual term, but it sounds pretty bad. It sounds like a thing that I would not want to do.
riding the needle. No thanks. No me gusta. No me gusta. Like, you know, I'm just gonna say, there's a lot of weird stuff that I'm into, but... Oh shit, did he just die? God damn it! Uh... So you need him to get up, uh, to break that wall up there, uh, in order to get to one of the X-Hunters, which I don't... I hope there's not an X-Hunter here. Quite frankly, I forget. And it doesn't make the biggest difference in the world, um, whether you defeat all the X-Hunters ahead of time or not. I'm gonna endeavor to, but quite frankly, if I've forgotten to just now, I don't give him nearly enough of a fuck to waste up a whole level of or to die just on an offhand chance, so we'll see. But what was I saying? I got really, really distracted about riding the eel. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm into some, I'm, I'm into some weird shit. Push me in a gay guy. I'm into some, I'm, I'm into some pretty shit. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna, not gonna make any, make any. uh you know, false claims or anything about that, but, you know, riding the beetle, it sounds like something I don't want to do. It sounds very unpleasant. <laughs> sounds like something... Sounds like something you gotta be into some, some weird fetishes for. And yo, no judgment, no judgment. Look, we've all gotta earn free zones. We've all gotta earn free zones. I won't say what mine are, but, you know, you know, you've got your freak zones, I've got my freak zones, we've all got it, we've all got it. And if yours is riding the beetle, then, you know, more power to you, but... No me gusta, no me gusta. Alright, so what Flame Stag does is he jumps on walls. It's a well known fact that deers jump on walls. And he's weak against a weapon that we don't quite have yet. It's one that we get from Bubblecraft. Oh, we just rocketed up the wall. We'll come. Kill a mofo. FOMO. FOMO the mofo. You know... We've got zero lives. I'm not really interested in doing this whole level again. You know what? You're allowed to cheat, because like, it hurts me if I touch you, it doesn't hurt you if you touch me. I'm gonna use my cheat power, which is... I was gonna say extra lives, but that's not what I'm using. I'm using E-Tanks! Yeah, I'm using them sub-tanks, baby. Got that extra health. You got one big-ass life bar? I've got fucking two. That's what it's at. Anywho. Oh, man. I hope I'm becoming coherent. I hope I'm remaining coherent. So from him, we get a weapon called the Speed Burner. And what the Speed Burner does is that in its regular form, it just shoots a jet of fire. But in its charged-up form, what it does is that it gives you a, uh, essentially a mid-air dash. Whew! Okay, that's really unfortunate. So, you might notice that there's only two x in the map now. What that means is that it's no longer possible for me to go and get all three of them, because... I... On that last level, was pretty sure that there wasn't an X-Hunter there. Uh, so what that means is that I can't get Zero's part. Which means that there's really no point in trying to fight them uh, in their mid-level stuff. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and do this the way that I'd normally do it. Just be the flame stack, so it becomes next. Do crystal snail. weapons Oh, crystal snail, okay. Well, I'm sorry folks, you know, in my heyday, I could have done this game in a total perfect order and all that shit, but quite frankly, 
I'm not here for perfection. It's not why I do this. It's not why I do music either. I'm not here to show you the most perfect thing ever. I'm here to give you guys an experience. And this is my experience of playing Mega Man X2. So, deal. Alrighty, so this next one, you're probably gonna see me die a couple times because this next part is annoying as fuck. Yep. So there's a giant fucking gap over here, and what you need to do is you need to get into the armor, you need to dash across, you need to take the armor in its flight mode and fly as far as you can, and then you jump out and there's a heart on the opposite end. I hate this one. And quite frankly, for your own experience and your own viewing pleasure, I could edit it. So that it looks like I just get it on the first try, but that would be really fucking disingenuous of me, and that's really not what I'm about. Like I said, I'm not here to make myself look perfect. I'm no Superman. So, I do want to say though, whoever designed this part, I really hope you die in the fire. I know this game is pretty old, there's something of a chance that you're actually already dead, but I just want you to know that it is a deep, deep wish of mine that you perish in an agonizing way. Because shit like this, oh the jump you gotta make over the bottomless pit, that's not fun as a, as a player. That's not fun. I got it. That was still irritating as shit. But okay, that's that's how you do it. Not that. Um, you gotta do what you gotta do is you want to run and jump and then don't in the in the armor you don't want to jump immediately. You want to give it a sex so and you can reach the maximum height based on the regular jump before you tap it again to begin using the jets. So you know how there is that little piece of crystal there? I can't break that in the armor, so what I have to do in order to build this part with the armor is I have to wait. There we go. Now, I'm not actually sure if there's an X under here, because I am quite frankly too drunk to remember such things. But we'll see. Oh, there is! Okay, alright, so I'll... I will do my best. Oh god, it's you again. Oh man, well then, I hate you. I hate, I hate you more than I hate playing people in Hearthstone. It says a lot. It's, it's one of the darkest things I can say to people. I don't hate you as much as I hate Donald Trump, because that's whole, whole new levels of danger. Of, like, halfway wishing that reality did not exist. So it might look like I'm doing well, but what I'm actually doing is I'm doing lucky. Because uh, you'll notice that the first time I played, he fucking hit me with his tail 10,000 times in a row. And the second time, he hit me like maybe once or twice. I just got lucky. That's all that happens. That's all that happens is that the, it's the, fucking, the fucking universe, the cosmos that surrounds him, 
and I died immediately. Motherfucker. So, do I have one life left? Shit. Zero lives left. All right, so I got one shot at this. And as I said, unedited. I'm not. I'm not gonna be changing this shit. You guys are going to get to behold the truth of Knox, whether I'm amazing or whether I suck at this game. Because I, I owe it to you guys, to my faithful viewing and listening audience. But yeah. Yeah, no, I, 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 admittedly, I am not an amazing gamer. I'm okay. I'm, I like to think of myself as reasonably intelligent, so usually when it comes to puzzles and stuff, I can figure stuff like that out, but I am not by any means a fucking amazing god tier gamer. And I know, I know some people who are really, really fucking good when it comes to gaming. I am not. I'm okay, but my reflexes are just not the god tier required. So I'm going to show you guys a cool trick. This is one great application of the boss weapons outside of his boss fights, and, you know, using their weaknesses. Because this guy here gets fucking shrecked by Wheel Gator's weapon. A, it does a lot of damage, and B, it just keeps hitting him. And what it does is it actually it ends up interrupting him, because normally, if you try fighting him with just the X-Buster, uh, the more he gets damaged, he'll summon more and more of those little, like, drone things that just shoot at you. But, for some reason, if you hit him with the wheel, it, like, does damage to him more quickly than he can actually process or something. And so what happens is that he'll end up not summoning any extra ones, which makes it a lot easier. You take a lot less damage. Ooh, I got crushed by the crystal. That was not the right move. I tried to jump up on top of it. Not what to do. Not what to do. You know, even with these levels, the boss levels, are clearly not like actual bases or anything like that. I quite frankly don't understand why they don't just cover everything with spikes. Because if it was me, that'd be what I'd do. I'd just be like spikes for everyone. Nothing with spikes. And you know what? When I play X6, I'm gonna eat my words like fucking peanut butter covered pancakes. Because Gate does just that. He's like, hmm, let me just put spikes everywhere. And he does. And it makes me want to cry. But enough about X6. That's long in the future. we got several games to get to before that. Alrighty then, so this is... Crystal Snail. So what he does is, he is a shell that he retreats into, which makes him invulnerable. He bounces all over the place, and when he gets weakened, he has a horrible knockoff version of Zawaldo that slows time but doesn't quite stop it. You know, if you're going to use Zawaldo, you gotta just use it right. Just stop time. Motherfucker, let me out! <laughs> oh my god. I swear, I'm gonna have to go through. If I have to go through this whole level again, I'm gonna be really pissed. And I probably will, because this is my last life. Could you not? Could you not for one sec? Wow. Well, there you have it, folks. Defeated by Crystal Snail. As I got up to him when I had only... Mm, no extra lives. Wow. Ugh. Well, I gotta redeem myself after that, right? Man. 
Fuck yourself, Crystal Snail. I'm going to fucking beat you like Escargot. Tisk tisk. I will say one thing about the bosses in this game is that a lot of them, if you do end up getting their weaknesses, it kind of trivializes them. Like with him, one of the big things is that he spends a good amount of time invincible because he takes a new shell. Whereas if you gain his weakness, the magnet mine which you get from Magnus Centipede, what it does is it fucking rips his shell off. So no more of that invincibility shit. However, if you fight him without his weakness, he's irritating as fuck because he just spends a lot of his time in people being hit. You have somewhat limited windows, he does pretty reasonable damage. Plus, if you fuck up like I do, like like I get back there and you just end up getting hit by his stupid little attack again and again, you just take a shit ton of damage because of course the bosses hurt like fuck when they touch you, but you touch them, you know, there's no damage whatsoever. And I could make some Catholic priest jokes in there, but I'm not going to. I'm above such things. I am, how you say, classy. I am the class. Le classy, ha ha. And also French, apparently, ha ha. Man. And I thought Dark Souls had a lot of instant kill traps. Uh, I mean, I could complain all I want, but it's the nature of these games. They have a lot of things where you just, up, oh, you fucked up a little bit, dead. Not that it's super hard. I probably should have just fought the bats bit by bit back there. But I became impatient and was defeated by my own impatience. Alright, come at me, Bat. Come on, come on. And that's here. Actually, it's supposed to be different environment. You know what's weird? His level is much shorter than it appears. I thought it was a lot longer. Although, I guess, without having to worry about stuff like getting the heart, it is obviously a lot shorter. Alrighty then, so... Take two. He's kind of cool. I like most of the bosses. I think their their design and the idea behind them is cool. I don't totally understand the connection between Crystal and slowing down time. Um, except maybe that Quartz is used to create the counters that are usually used for things like clocks. But who knows. Shooting a lot of goo. He's he's one slimy snail. Oh hell no! Man, he's just orgasming everywhere. He's got a shotgun orgasm, and it's very sticky. It's very very sticky. Sticky jizz. So I'm calling his extra power now. Sticky jizz. He has Zawado and really, really sticky jizz. Incidentally, those of you who are interested should Google slug sex because it is, it is a, uh, it is a psyche damaging experience to sit.
and as I found out from watching the video, slugs, I don't know if this is true of snails, but slugs are actually all hermaphrodites. They're all both male and female, possessing both sets of sex organs, which is fascinating, also horrific, and it will haunt my nightmares for uh, years to come. I don't know who installed the rocket engine in this slug snail, in this snail's shell, but I do want to point out to them that it is somewhat antithetical to the typical characteristics associated with snail, such as being slow. I'm waiting for him to use uh, his ghetto ass version of Zawa. Which is okay, but not super effective. There we go. See, it slows everything down except for him. And unfortunately, as I do not have Star Platinum, I can't, can't quite beat it. I think in, uh, in JoJo's, is the I don't really know if I've made too many references to it in my songs or anything, but I am a really good JoJo's fan. Uh, I think my f oh Christ, I think my favorite stand is actually probably uh, um, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, the one that President Valentine has in uh, Part Seven. Oh come on. Dirty deeds are done dirt or cheap. There we go. It doesn't matter if my projectile is super slower if I shoot you point blank range in the face. So there we go. Knox defeats an angry slug. Snail. Slug snail. Slugale. Slail. Snug. Hmm. Anywho, so we get his weapon now, which is the Crystallizer. I don't fucking know what it's actually called, but it's the Crystallizer, that's what I'm gonna call it. Alrighty, and I gotta go take a look at this, so I'm gonna go to the bathroom, come back, and then uh, I'll record the episode for the last three bosses, I'll go back and get what I'm this. And then after that, we're moving on to the final stages.